continuing things where I left them off. We have your classmate, Katrina. Hi. But this time we're talking about the daily life. As you might guess, the daily life of men and women or child could be very different based on whether he or she lived during the early high or the middle ages, depending on what status society he or she held. For instance, the life of a noble was very different from the life of a pre peasant. Or from that night, let's take 100k. I Warning, the phone is very poorly edited and it is a stab at humor because we run out of stuff to do. Well, sit back, relax, and enjoy medicine. When the Roman Empire ended, Europe fell into the Dark Ages. Superstition crawled back into the beliefs about medicine. People were taught that diseases were punishments from God. Most of what's learned from the Greeks and Romans was transferred to the new Islamic religion of Northern Africa, the Middle East, and Spain. Medical schools and hospitals were built to support the, the work of the Arabal doctors, Olive Razor, who further explored medicine as a science. Razor was the first doctor to identify the difference between measles and smallpox. By the Middle Ages, Europe was hit with the terrible evident, evident that killed millions of people called the plague, or the Black Death. Doctors didn't know how to treat the plague that came in two deadly forms. The Paramic Plague was spread in the air from person to person. The Bubonic Plague was caused by bites from infected fleas. The fleas bit rats and humans, causing the disease to spread quickly in dirty cities. There were more, very few medical advances made during the period of history. The Black Death was deadly and highly contagious, meaning that it was capable of being passed person to person by direct contact with the diseased individual. At this time in Europe, a, a bad of harvest had caused a lack of nutrition food. This lowered the population's daily to fight disease, meaning the Black Death infected more people. Symptoms included a violent headache, chills, vol vomiting, lumps, size of oranges under the arms, as well as black boils and spots all over the body. Treatment was verified. One form was to cut open a lump with a sharp knife and cover it with warm layer of butter to infix the jaws of poison out. The other was to take a live frog rubbing its belly over the victims. Such methods didn't work. At the same time at the same time no cure was other informed that result most people died within three days. Some unlucky people died within twelve hours. And now bloopers because we have no self respect. Bring out your dad. Ding. Bring out your dad. Ding. You there, bring out your dad. Got another one for the car. I'm not dead yet. Yes, she is. She says she's not dead. She Can I will go be for soon. a walk? <laughs> bring out your dad. You there, bring out your dad. I'm not dead yet. Yes, he is. No, I'm not. Uh, look at him. He says he's not dead. He is. No, I'm getting better. He's alive. He's dead. I can't take him like this. It's against regulation. No. <laughs> the rats and the rats. Hmm. <laughs> oh my god, we made our plague cart and it looks like a freaking car. Okay, drive. <laughs> Hello, I am Lauren. This is my friend Katrina. Hi. Wait, 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 what color? Really? What color? What color? <laughs> what are you doing? Making him explode. I broke him on accident. Oh no. Okay then. 
This guy here is Radis Radis. And wow, this sounds like ASMR. <laughs> What's my life? <laughs> here come the credits, so just sit back, relax, and enjoy. <laughs> Hey, he's dead.